and Desert Bus peoples, we are joined on the line by Mr. Will Wheaton. Yay! Yay! Hello, Will. Come in, Will. Boo. Internet. Hello? Maybe no? <laughs> Changing inputs. Wait. What's changed? Wait. Wait. <laughs> Hello, Will Wheaton. Hey, Dad. <laughs> so, Kathleen, how's it going? Oh, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Guys, I'm not kidding about this gum situation. I really would love some. <laughs> I, have, I have no gum. Does anyone have gum? We have holes. Yeah, we I think Paul's. Yeah. Little Ian had some gum. Let's get a gum. Do the trick. Holes. Holes. Gum upstairs. We have gum. We need gum. Yeah. Chris? Because he oh. ate that whole pizza. Wait, but anything. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Would you like to try something anything on the fisherman's friend? <laughs> <laughs> that will change the taste. <laughs> <laughs> Is it will time? I think we have another option. Will time. <laughs> hey! Yay! Hello! Oh, no. No! 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 no sound. No sound, though. <laughs> Hold that thought. I feel like... <laughs> Wait, can he see us? Uh, maybe. It seems like he can see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I think he's gonna write us a message. You can probably hear it. So. My dog ate all my gum. This is funnier. I hear you. <laughs> Wait. He, oh, good. You hear us. Good. 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 Oh, okay. Let's stop writing notes. Yeah. Okay. So this. So we'll yeah. we'll ask you a question. What? Oh. Uh, oh. Was that? I said. Now do you hear me? Yeah. How's it going? Glad. I've been out of town and away from the internet, so I don't know how things are going for you guys. You want to bring me up to speed? Things are going very well. We are currently sitting at $167,000 this year. <laughs> yes. Holy balls. Congratulations. Thank you. And I believe and less than 10000 away from a million lifetime total. Yep, we are... Yeah. Incredible. I'm just checking the calculation. It's loading too slowly. Anyway. Oh, so we have um, uh, we have a sadly limited time with you because you're uh, super busy. So we wanted to, to see if you wanted to do the your live auction during your call or after your call. Oh, I think doing a live auction is not the most effective use of my limited time with my lovely people, you there in Canada. All right. Well, we will. I think you should have someone else do that. That sounds great. All right. Well, then and we start the bidding at one million dollars. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, we will. Uh, we will do the um, your auction uh, just following your call then, and instead we will go on to some questions from these fine people on the Intertron. Um, I, uh, there's a there's a post on the blog where people have been posting these questions, and this is a question that I, I really like because I I haven't heard anyone ask this. I mean, you you probably have been asked it before, but during any of your time filming Star Trek, did you ever find yourself uh, about to walk through one of the sliding doors only to discover that there was no crewman operating it and it wouldn't open for you? Yeah, that happened with alarming frequency. Uh, the uh, most of the time that would happen when the special effects guy just didn't get the cue, so the so that it wouldn't be set up, and someone would walk into into a door. Um, but for me, um, you know, I have a very overactive imagination, and I really like to pretend that I was on a real spaceship. And I would be walking through the set when no one was there, and on more than one occasion, just being lost in thought, would walk right into a door. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch Next Generation, especially the first two seasons, you will notice that when a door is on screen and actors have walked through that door, no one will say anything until the door closes behind them. And uh, if you see that the door is off screen, you'll hear the door close with the special effect, but you won't actually see it close. And the reason that happened is the doors are actually quite loud. They were on pulleys and wires, and 
they made a lot of noise that was not especially futuristic. So we would uh, have to be quiet until the doors closed behind us. Now my cat's coming to visit. Hey! Uh, is, is that a six dollar secret? Hello. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so we would, uh, we all just sort of got trained to not make any, uh, uh, to not talk until the doors were closed. So if you watch Next Generation, that is something that you will not be able to not know. You'll become very aware of it. Like, no one ever talks when a door is closing behind them. I'm going to write that down as your $6 secret. That's awesome. Did, did, oh, yes. Yeah. Did, uh, sorry, Kathleen wanted to know, did Patrick Stewart ever walk into a door? Yep. I'm sure he did at least once. Every, we all did. One time we did this, we did this joke once where the, uh, the Enterprise was being, we were getting our asses kicked by the Borg, and we were being uh, shot... It looks like there's people humping back in the very back of the room. Wouldn't be surprised. No, that's the creepy doll. <laughs> and Alex. And Alex. It happens. Just don't okay. ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Things <laughs> are terrific. Thanks, guys. Uh, and uh, so Patrick made a big show of uh, like stumbling down, like falling out of his chair and then standing up and then stumbling up the ramp and then stumbling back behind Worf and then stumbling down the other ramp and then standing up and then crashing into the wall and actually knocked the wall of the set out. <laughs> <laughs> and I was sitting at the helm and I, and I said, Captain, we have a hull breach. <laughs> 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 Goodness. Uh, um, uh, what, uh, <laughs> sorry, what's your, ooh, we have so many googly eyes that we've been giving away this year. Um, what, oh, what that's, is, oh, yeah. That's so good. Yes, Anne helped us acquire those. Big thanks to Anne. Yeah. I know. Um, I, we thought that we were calling in tomorrow and she was going to uh, come and talk with me. Uh, and uh, there were, we were going to be googly eyes. Um, but she's at work. So, sorry, you don't get Anne. You're stuck with me tonight. Oh, um, we're but, doing lots yeah, of googly eyes uh, in her honor. Uh, she, she has the googly eyes so much now that when we go to a place, and I'm like, dude, you should have googly eyes in that thing. And she's like, oh, I left him in the car. I, like, I get mad. Like, <laughs> how do I have googly eyes with you? Like, <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, a question, there's a question on the blog, which is, what, what is your favorite vandalized stunt? Um... We just went up to visit my sister and brother-in-law. We met my nephew for the very first time, and he's about three months, three weeks old, and he was taking a nap. Uh, Anne was cradling him, and he was asleep, and Anne asked my sister if she could put googly eyes on him, not adhesive, just rest them on his eyes. And my sister said she thought that would be hilarious. So there is a picture that Anne put on Twitter day before yesterday of Anne holding Shane with googly eyes on his actual eyes, and it is equal parts really disturbing and really hilarious. <laughs> awesome. There's a, uh, there's a question uh, here about uh, tabletop, which is, there's a lot of love for tabletop. Oh, thanks. I'm really glad to know that. Um, is, is there a game that you uh, have tried or, or would love to play on tabletop, but that would be too difficult to implement on the show? Yeah, all, all of the card games that I love, Dominion and Seven Wonders, immediately come to mind. They're really great games, they're really fun to play, and uh, they just don't translate to our format at all. We would have to have pole card cameras, be, and we would have to have running commentary. We already have seven cameras on the show, we would have to add another five cameras Whoa. to do that. And it's just not technically feasible. But what makes those games really fun and really wonderful is what happens in your head while you are uh, waiting for your turn to come around. And it just it just doesn't translate to television. Steve Jackson Games publishes a Euro game that I love called Revolution, and it was the same problem with Revolution. There's what makes that game great is I know that you know that I know that you know, and that just you know if you just see what happens, it, it just doesn't work. Have you found the uh, the table that you use on tabletop having a positive impact on your gaming? There's some people who are now seriously considering getting their own. That table is the emissary table from our friends at Geek Chic Labs, and that was just 
Robert Gifford just brought that for us and then stayed on set the whole week to help make sure that everything was working. And let me tell you something, the table is great. The table is beautiful. Um, and uh, it, in its normal configuration, it does not lend itself to um, flipping over all the little trains like uh, when your wife plays with you. Um, <laughs> We, we had a false a false bottom in the table, and we had the table angled a little bit like this, so that you could see the pieces on the on the table a little bit, so it wasn't like that. Um, but they they make a set of of solid wooden chairs that are I don't know how they're made from witches or something. They're the most comfortable chairs I've ever sat on in my life. I prefer them to my very expensive uh, uh, like ergonomic office chair. Um, so now we understand that, uh, that there have actually been a number of orders for those tables where people call up and they want the red felt top just like we used on tabletop, which I think is great. That's so cool. Yeah. I'm pushing actually for an emissary in my house. I'm actually in my dining room right now and I'm pushing to have an emissary. Uh, I'm cleaning up some tables, so uh, paper so you can actually think that my dining room is clean. Um, so this is my dining room table. Your audio just cut out. Oh, oh, oh no. That, uh, that's nice dining room table, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't it be better if it was like a gaming table? But I can't get that past my wife. Wow. Um, oh, oh this is like we're just letting the uh, thing catch up. Oh, I think we're, think we're back synced again. Sorry, I had a Skype thing there. Um, where in the world? Yeah, a lot of movement, sorry. Oh, it's okay. Uh, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Uh, Carmen San Diego is in a shallow grave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was dark. That was cool. I like wow, I like it. Well. <laughs> um, a question. I cannot bury the body for you, but I'll help you bury the body. <laughs> <laughs> There's a question from an Australian fan. Uh, are you uh, coming back to Australia anytime in the near future? Perhaps PAX Australia. I hope very much that I'll be able to come back to Australia sooner than later. I am unfortunately not going to be able to attend PAX Australia this year because it is a direct conflict with San Diego Comic Con. And it is just, uh, you know, Comic Con is not as fun for me as it used to be. Um, I can't really go just as a fan like I did for my entire uh, high school and, and, and college years. I go mostly for work now, but we have such a large presence there with Geek and Sundry, and I always end up moderating panels for the shows that I work on. It's such a big and important part of my career to be there that I cannot be on another continent during Comic Con. So unfortunately, I won't be able to go to Pax Oz. Uh, uh, but I, I hope very much to go back to Comic. I mean, go back to, to Australia for something else. Um, uh, in the not too distant future, uh, the Felicia Day is there right now and is uh, tormenting me with photographs <laughs> of all the places I told her to go. <laughs> Great, um, dear Doctor Will, loved your guild shirt on Big Bang Theory recently. Will we ever get to hear your lecture on Star Trek flags? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, so, first of all, uh, I heard. And uh, we had to get permissions and clearances and things. And I'm really glad that uh, Mary and Sarah in the costume department made that happen. Um, I thought it was cool because I actually own that shirt in, in real life. And I like to bring pieces of uh, Will Wheaton Prime to evil Will Wheaton whenever I get a chance to. And um, uh, I think it is unlikely that we'll ever get to hear my uh, lecture about the flags of Star Trek, which is a shame because... The one I was starting with, the flag of the United Federation of Planets, is very interesting. <laughs> what, what, what is the punishment when someone breaks Wheaton's Law and bees a dick? <laughs> <laughs> and bees a dick. <laughs> it's Canadian. It's, it's cho excellent choice of uh, Graham. <laughs> Graham. Uh, yeah, Graham. Uh, 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 they get nominated for the, uh, they get to be the Republican candidate for president in the election. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Snap. Does he know about our rule? Oh. 
key to rooms? <laughs> oh, yeah. Can we, wait, where's... It's, it's on, on the door. door, so we can't take it Is it, it like, nailed yeah. to the door? Yeah. The, oh, the, yeah. One, okay. the one upstairs is pinned. We have, we have a, a we have a, uh, a, uh, a big list of rules for people visiting the moon bases here. And yeah, I think, yeah. I, I think there's about ten. It's just like, don't go to sleep here, don't eat our food, because you can leave and we can't. And the yeah. first and last rule is, don't be a dick. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm very happy to know that. Sandwiched with Charlie, wheat Charlie, Charlie Brooker actually wrote uh, in, in, a, in a column in, I think, The Guardian or The Telegraph, uh, three rules, and the third rule was don't be a dick. Great. Nice. That was pretty awesome. Um, what, just so I have an ETA, how, how long do we have you for? I've got about two minutes before I have to leave, and, and, and I'm actually getting nervous because there's traffic in L.A., and I, got, I have to go pick my dogs up from daycare. Aww. Aww. Right. Well, Aww. in that case, how's about, uh, because we're going to do your auction after we let you go, so how about you tell us all about the auction uh, so they can hear it from you? Okay, uh, so um, James came down to visit. Uh, uh, how long ago, James? Like two months ago? Yeah, a month and a half ago, I guess. Yeah, because we have this awesome plan, okay? Check this out. Check out this perfect plan that cannot fail. Um, James and Lady James are going to come down and visit. Love Lady James. And, <laughs> and, and, <laughs> while, uh, and while we are visiting, we are going to go to uh, the Staples Center, and we're going to enjoy uh, a hockey contest. Right. And as it turns out, douchebag NHL owners have other plans. So instead of going to the game, we actually uh, had the Kings play the Canucks in a simulated game in NHL 13, uh, where the Kings destroyed the Canucks. They didn't awesome. destroy they the Canucks. <laughs> it was six five. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it was live tweeted. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was the Great Wheaton Turner Cup of yeah. 2012. Um, so uh, we had a really good time doing that, and, and uh, I, I took James into my, my cabinet of wonders and uh, just offered up a bunch of the various things that I have around the house. So let's see. So I gave you some books, I think. Yeah. And was I able to find – I know we looked for one of the Fox comics. Did I find one? No, sir. No. Couldn't remember if we found one or not. Uh, so you know, it's 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 a bunch of my uh, it's a bunch of my books. Some of them are, are hard to get. Some are easier to get. They're all signed by me. They were signed, I think, at the. At, I think they're signed in my kitchen, right? Is that where we did it? Yep. You think? Yeah. I mean, I take the camera in there and show you, but I was cooking earlier, and that is not a thing you want to see. <laughs> the, uh, it is, the it has, uh, it's a horror, it's a horror show in there. Uh, so, uh, so that's that's it. I, I, I wish that I had uh, more exciting and better things, but uh, James's small suitcase and uh, oh, my nice. office being a disaster after a summer of going to conventions uh, meant that we had to grab what was small and portable and on top of things. We hear so. you already got rid of your exciting golf uh, uh, ping pong balls, so you know. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool. It's uh, cool. The ping pong ball did very well. Uh, <laughs> he, his his owner checked in a couple of weeks ago, and he's Aww. he's doing all. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll we will uh, take it from here and uh, uh, do this uh, do this live auction with these books. And you know what? It might might just be enough to push us over one million dollars yes. lifetime. Woo! Woo! That, would be, that would make me really happy. I mean, I know you're going to get there anyway, but it would be cool if I could be part of that, making that happen. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us again. We really, really appreciate it. It's great to see you guys. Yeah. And, and uh, I'll come and see you. Um, Ann and I are coming up for the dinner. Yay! So we'll see you there. See you there. Sweet. Yeah. All right. I, just, I imagine that this year's uh, Child's Play dinner is going to be heavily vandalized. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yes. Just out when you come through the door. Here's yeah. your googly eyes. Enjoy your dinner. <laughs> All the auction items. Enjoy your fine googly eye wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every auction item will have a pair of googly eyes on them. All right. <laughs> You know, that's probably right. <laughs> <laughs> she can Google it as mine. I'm cool with it. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, I gotta go pick up my dogs. Okay, goodbye, Bye. Will. Bye. And see you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Can we get driver cam, please? We'll show off exactly what we've got here. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right. Dinner, dinner's here. So... 
Driver Cam. So Will was saying we have some books. We have this uh, copy of Ernie Klein's book, Ready Player One, which is read by Will Wheaton, so you can listen to the mellifluous, mellifluous tones of his voice reading you that book. And then we also have three books written by Will Wheaton. We have The Happiest Days of Our Lives. This was the first Will Wheaton book that I ever read. And it is signed somewhere. There we go. That is signed. We have a copy of Sunken Treasure, Will Wheaton's Hot Cocoa Box Sampler, also signed by Will Wheaton. And we have a copy of Will Wheaton's The Day After and Other Stories, also signed by Will Wheaton. So that is what we are live auctioning off. Will Wheaton's wonderful words and Will Wheaton's wonderful voice for you all with his wonderful signatures. So, we need some auction music here. Something, something peppy. Something we can all bounce along to. And uh, you guys know how to bid. Let's see, there have been some reminders in the chat, so let's go ahead and start this. This is lot number, uh, well crap, it's not written on here. Do you guys have it? Yep. All right, never mind. We're, We're good. We are, oh my gosh, 900 go. bucks. Woo! Woo! Thousand dollars. The auctioneer doesn't even have to work for this anymore. No. Bam! You guys have it. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. James is just putting his cameo. Oh. Seventeen oh one. Tiny ghost of Emily Carr. That's an amazing <laughs> name. <laughs> oh, if you know, yeah, she's yeah, so good. Oh. Seventeen oh one. That is a really good name. Really? Yeah. So good. So seventeen oh one. Currently, tiny ghost of Emily Carr. James, you've hung out with Will Wheaton. Just how mellifluous is his voice? <laughs> it's pretty fantastic. Yeah. I wouldn't lie. Uh, if I was to win something like this, I'd probably listen to it every night, every morning, and every day. All the time. All the time. Never get tired Just of it. 24-7. Just beauty all the time. Yeah. Uh, I also understand, and you didn't get a chance to say it, but I believe that the hardcover of The Happiest Days of Our Lives is a pretty rare, but rare find. Um, not many were printed in the hardcover. I seem to recall him saying that. Um, so that's pretty awesome. And then, also, lots of great pictures of Will Wheaton's childhood on there. It's that true. Pretty entertaining. Yeah, look, he's, cover, he's got a bike. Cute. Did you show this show the, yet? Show the back. I didn't and, show the back. Oh, okay. Driver cam. Driver cam. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. It's like you can stop him in his childhood. Yeah, it's like, it's like you're a part of his family. Scan this in, Photoshop, you're good to go. <laughs> do not do that, and if you do, don't tell him I told you to do that. <laughs> So I think, is it still Tiny Ghost of Emily Carr? I think so. Oh, Not oh, anymore! Oh, it's Lord, Lord Hosk. Hosk! 1706. 17, 17, 17, 17, Snowfire. Woo! Fire. Saving my strength. Um, well then. Two old sitting around. Oh. <laughs> 1750. I, there's a lot of like familiar names in the auctions this year. Yeah. There's like about 10 of you that just keep bidding each other out. It's like the, the auction club. Yeah, it is. It's the high rollers of Desert yeah. Bus. So currently we're at seventeen fifty. Someone's cat wants to bid. Lord Hoss, does love cats. Do you I feel like that. stepping? This is pretty epic music. Yeah. Oh, oh Dicks! 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 Wow! Yeah, right. Why not? That's a spirit. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do. Yeah, that is how you do. Uh, or Hoskin oh, 1800! 1800! 1894! From the oh tiny ghost of Emily Carr, <laughs> which is still just the greatest name. <laughs> God damn. Tiny ghost of Emily Carr! Uh, I feel like you need to squee when you say it. The yeah. tiny ghost of Emily Carr! 1894, also the NCC number for the Sagittarius. Oh! oh. Nice! Clever! Not anymore oh though, 1988! Evolve never! You know what? Let's sweeten this pig. We can sweeten, sweeten this pig. Oh yeah. yeah. Since it was Will that called in. Two thousand. Two thousand from Snowfire. Yeah, we can sweeten it. <laughs> she's, she's sweetening it. We're gonna sweeten this pig in honor of Will and Anne, who we couldn't talk to. Googly eyes. You will get a set of these two giant googly eyes and this little tin of carry with you everywhere adhesive googly eyes. This pig has been sweetened. Space course. Current the highest bid. 
2010, The Final Frontier, and my final bid. You don't say that. <laughs> Maybe he's not thinking. Yeah, it has to be five. five. Yes. Yeah. That, said, no, that being said, <laughs> nobody is stepping to the last bit of... What was his name? Space Core. That's sweet and pink. Yeah. Ha. Oh, ah. Nice. Alright, so are we really gonna do this for Space Core? It's very stressful. Yeah. Music. I'm like, oh, what's going to happen? <laughs> what is going to happen? I don't know, you guys aren't singing much. What's happening? Let's weed out some of these people. I'm gonna say going once to Space Corps for 2010. Oh. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> See, this is what happens. Yeah, Still pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. Yeah, Still right. pretty cheap. Keep going. Just keep going. Little do we know, all these bidders are off. <laughs> 2020. Oh, Tiny, she's back. <laughs> Don't make me teach you 19th century style. <laughs> fantastic! Best <laughs> That's great, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I, oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely what is happening. I want to know how many bidders are actually writing down smack talk between yeah, auctions. Yeah, between auctions. So just like, okay, use that one, oh, pull that one. Yeah. This should be in the next video that you guys do for next year. How to smack like, talk through yeah. an auction. How to prepare yourself like for an oh. auction, write down smack talk. 2050. Oh, I learned in the 24th. Ooh. Ooh. We should be recording Call all this one. smack talk. It's yeah. awesome. It that hurt. Talk. That's now. All right, Snowfire is currently the highest bidder with 2050. I haven't seen. Oh, there we oh, go! 2101! No, we're not doing a zero wing reference. Oh, man. What a great oh, gift. Tiny Ghost of Emily Carr says Snowfire has beaten her. Let's see if that's true. Alright. Yay, Dix, that makes me very yeah. happy. The music is slowing down. I feel like that's a call to say going once to 20 Omega oh, Laron for 2101. I can't talk. I need to sleep. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go home, James. You're drunk. There's a baby James I know, right? Lady James. Lady James. When Colby says it, it's that's it. Thing. It becomes yeah. true. <laughs> that's All right. Okay. It could be worse, McMahon. Let me think of a couple. You could just be yeah. James. I've been called them. At least <laughs> you could just be, you could just be James. Yeah, James, James and what's her name? <laughs> Lady, what's your face? All right, I'm going to say going twice. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, that's true. All right, guys. Snipe. Snipers. Are we gonna snipe? Snipers? Any sniping? I haven't seen. I see no sniping. I don't see no sniping. Tally, what do you think? I see no sniping. I say it's time to call it. So. So.